The Night of the Hunter, a 1955 film directed by Charles Lawton. The film was best explained by the director himself as a nightmarish sort of mother goose tale. After releasing the film, it didn't get the recognition it deserved until several decades later. The lack of initial success was taken hard by director Charles Lawton, and he abandoned his career as a director. However, several decades later, the film is known widely for its brilliant display of narrative techniques. The one I'm going to expand on today is Familiar Image. Familiar image is defined in looking at the movies as any image that a director periodically repeats in a movie to help stabilize its narrative. To continue with familiar image, it is also, by its repetition, the image calls attention to itself as a narrative element. Familiar image has the ability to be both visual and auditory. We see both visual and auditory elements throughout the film thanks to the film cinematographer Stanley Cortez. Stanley Cortez was not only known for his use of lighting in the film The Night of the Hunter. Shortly after his work on the film The Night of the Hunter, he went on to work with the film The Three Faces of Eve in 1957, where he was given the job of portraying a woman with multiple personalities using light. Stanley Cortez does not deserve all of the credit for the film's display of lighting. He himself gives a lot of credit to the director, Charles Lawton. In an interview, Stanley Cortez stated, The most exciting experience I have had in the cinema was with Charles Lawton on the night of The Hunter. Every day I considered something new about light, the incredible thing that cannot be described. Of the directors I've worked with, only two have understood it, Orson Welles and Charles Lawton. The three ways that the film displayed familiar imaging was through half-lit faces, backlit silhouettes, and the use of the hymn leaning on the everlasting arms. First, the use of half-lit faces implies the true character of Harry Powell. The lit side displays how the majority of the community views him, a trusted preacher, whereas the side of his face left in the dark shows his mysterious wicked side that not many are able to see. Second, the backlit silhouettes is displayed throughout the film to show how deceptive, evil, and threatening this murderer is. His features and so-called charm are not present and therefore he is seen solely as a terrifying force. These two forms of familiar imaging fall under the visual elements category. Lastly, we have our auditory element, which is created through the use of the old hymn Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. This song is used as a warning to both the characters and the audience because we know that something bad is about to happen. After looking at these three examples, we are able to see how effective familiar imaging can be in telling a narrative.